Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Clarama. I am a product manager on the Oculus for Developer team. This is our second video on our Oculus for Developer series, where we share updates on our new releases, products, tools, and features for developers just like yourself. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about a question that we've been hearing a lot from our developers. How do I build for Quest 2 without using my personal Facebook account? So in this video, I'm gonna go over your options. I'm also gonna show you how to use the test account generator tool, uh, which is designed specifically for this purpose. Heads up, if you're an Oculus for Business developer, this information won't apply to you. Feel free to skip this video. You now have three options to choose from when you're logging into your Oculus devices for development purposes. Your first option is to use a test user account. Logging in with a test user account will provide you with the access to the apps uploaded by your organization and allow you to test features such as entitlement checks, in-app purchases, and social features, while also playtesting your application. So a Facebook account is not required to use a test user account, but keep in mind, test user accounts cannot access apps that are outside of your developer organization. So how does one create a test user account? Let me show you. Log into your developer dashboard and open the org manager by selecting manage on your side menu. Once inside your org manager, go to the side menu again and click on test users. On this page, select the blue button add users, which is on the top right corner, which will launch the form. Fill out the desired information for your test user. Select the number of accounts you want to generate. Hit submit once you're done. It may take a few seconds, so be patient here. Refreshing the page if it takes longer can also be helpful. Another final important step is to go to your phone and make sure you sign into your Oculus mobile account with your new test account username and password. Once you signed in successfully on your Oculus mobile app, you can now sign into your headset using the test account and you should be good to go. Your second option is merging your Oculus developer account with your personal Facebook account. If you choose to log in with your personal Facebook account, you will be asked to merge your Oculus developer account. Unlike test accounts, you will be able to friend users outside of your organization. You'll still be able to purchase Oculus store content, um, and you'll still have the ability to work with test user accounts if you'd like. Your third option is to continue logging into current devices for development purposes. So using your unmerged Oculus developer account, but this will have limited functionality. So for example, you won't be able to test new updated or social features which require a test user account or a Facebook account. To learn more, check out the blog, links down below. First thing to remember, you do not need to merge your Oculus account with your personal Facebook account if you're building or developing for Oculus. Second thing to remember, do not create new Facebook accounts for testing. Um, this is against our policies, so make sure you use the test account generator tool specifically for that purpose. We went ahead and answered some questions we've been hearing, so check out the FAQ on the following blogs, which are linked below. If you do encounter any issues uh, with the test account generator tool um, or anything related to that, um, please submit a ticket to the Oculus support team. Uh, they're there to help you um, and we'll try to get to you as fast as possible. Thanks again for taking this journey with us and we'll keep you updated on any improvements that we make in the process in the meantime.